New tonight, a third person has now been arrested in connection to the fight at a Conway Entertainment Complex over the weekend. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rolly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Wooder. This third arrest from the violence outside Mally's Entertainment comes as city leaders hear the concerns from people at tonight's city council meeting. THV 11's Ashley Godwin was there and joins us with the latest details. We know these individuals are not from Conway, and we want individuals like them to stay out of Conway. We're going to try to continue to stand and make this the greatest city in the state of Arkansas like it has been for years. It was standing room only as people listened to how the city is responding to the violence at Mally's. While no city leaders spoke, the chief of police gave new details in the investigation. We didn't hear about till later, either in the evening or the next morning about a stabbing that had taken place. One of those that was injured was at the meeting with his parents. A pastor close to the family spoke for them. And I need you to see this gentleman right here. Take a look at this gentleman. Police say when they arrived, there was 20 to 30 people in a fight in the Mallee's parking lot. When officers arrived, they noticed Kelly Kennedy was intoxicated. She began to scream at the officer and yell obscenities and racial slurs at a group of African Americans standing behind the officer. She was taken into custody and charged with public intoxication and disorderly conduct. Another person involved in the incident, Chucky Don Hartwick, was charged with five felony counts. Four of those were aggravated assault and one was second degree battery. Michael Kennedy turned himself in during the Conway City Council meeting and is charged with two counts aggravated assault. The chief says more charges could be added and there could be more arrests. Incidents like this are taken very seriously by the Conway Police Department. In Conway, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Kelly Kennedy was released from jail Saturday night. Chucky Hartwick is still behind bars and Michael Kennedy is being booked tonight. Now in a police report that initially tried to sort out the fight, four teens are listed as both victims and offenders. But right now there's no indication uh, that any of them have been charged.